So here we are using the uh, Arduino Pilot. That's the mission planner, the software card. It's used for the Arduino Pilot ground station. And today we're gonna make a simulation here, a test fly. You see, uh, there are various reasons you want to do a simulation before you fly. Uh, do a real mission with your plane because you want to make sure the path is actually uh, viable. Uh, and also you want to make sure it does not crash into anything because because of let's say um, you don't have enough distance for landing something like that but uh, here for simulation we're gonna pick plan it, it's a built-in model uh, we definitely gonna remodel this uh, according to our uh, situation uh, but for now uh, let's just use whatever that's already there. okay so we are connecting our virtual plan uh, which will be here ready in a minute uh, but before that I would just want to go through the mission planner uh, there are lots of waypoints that I said basically what it does is that it takes up from uh, one of our track at RPI um, do a loop in a fair park and then just come back and land on the on the track again um, so once you finish adding the waypoint um, right then to the plane so now the plane now where to go uh, afterwards, you would just go data. Oh, that's bad zooming. But let's get closer. Right. Something like this. That would be great. Okay. Uh, currently, the arm is disarmed. There are a lot of things you want to check first uh, before you actually take off. Just go through all the pre flight check uh, list. And then just go action. Uh, you will click arm and. Uh, arm and disarm so let's make sure we are in the auto mode which means that it will just fly um, the way we have programmed it to be um, so let's disarm it first which means that it can take off anytime and then we set the set mode to auto so I'm gonna click on it I'm also gonna show you the 3d view of it so now it's taking off great the 3D view is sort of uh, funky because of the rendering issue, I think, uh, with Arduino Pilot, but it's just uh, the way that help you to visualize uh, how your plane is doing in, in the air. It's like a first-person view. Uh, but yes, yeah, so as we can see, uh, the plane is trying to follow the path we set it for it. Now flying over the residence area. And now they're gonna make a loop, a big turn, and note that how smooth the trajectory is. And we can set the radius uh, of, let's say, by default, I think it's two meter. As long as it gets in, uh, within two meter to the waypoint, it's considered as a pass. But uh, we can definitely make that stricter somehow if we want a higher position path set. This simulation is sort of uh, in real time, which is mean one one to one. Uh, how long will be recording? I don't know. Probably two minutes for now, uh, and that's actually two minute flying time in the air. We are almost halfway through, I think. See that beautiful turning. And given that this will be largely uh, over the horizon, uh, not necessarily, but most of it, you won't be able to see where the plane's going. So um, that's where autonomous aspect of this um, flight controller and program comes in help.
flying over a lake. And you can read the altitude there. The altitude is actually relative to uh, where you take off. But you can also set the altitude mode uh, when you edit the path. Or you can set it to terrain mode, which means that it will just stay that high from the terrain. That You have to pre-download the data, of course. We are on our way back. It's a bit of funky rendering. Now watch that altitude gonna drop. Significantly. We are almost there, just crossed the Hoosick Street, Hoosick Road, um, back to the Eastern Campus, touchdown, there we go. We are there. Great. Just landed. And that's pretty much uh, the entire simulation uh, part of it. And also, it's not just the waypoint that you set uh, that it can follow. You can also interactively send a command to your aircraft. Um, which means that you're going to change the waypoint uh, on the fly. Uh, you can also have joystick, uh, use joystick as a controller. Uh, it's almost like gaming. You can also use keyboard. It's really up to you. Now, okay, so it's set. Uh, the aircraft just gets to disarm mode again. And uh, I think that's it for today. I stopped recording.